Hi everybody, I'm Paxash and welcome to Paxash Plays Carpe Diem. I'm- I had a very frustrating day of trying to play EXE games. Um, half of them don't load on my computer, the other half I couldn't play because I'm an idiot. So, we're gonna do a nice visual novel. <laughs> it's not supposed to be very long. She's late. I've experienced some problems lately and we weren't able to hang out in a while. I managed to get things working so I can spend time with her. But it's only temporary, and I don't know how long it will last. Hey, Jung! I think it's Jung. Sorry, did I keep you waiting? Yeah, for about half an hour. A guy's supposed to say not at all here, you know? I didn't know that. I wasn't notified about this change in society. They didn't bother because they know you're not going to follow it anyway. Damn right. So where do you want to go? Let's go to the arcade. I know a good arcade place. Want to check it out? Sure. I've never been to an arcade before, so I'm interested. Really? Don't you like games? She looks like Weiss from Ruby. Weiss is my favorite of Team Ruby, so that works out for me. I do, but I usually only play at home. I think you'll like it there. We'll see. I'm standing in the exact same spot. <laughs> As we walk inside the arcade, her eyes are filled with amazement and excitement. Hey, Jung, look. She points at a crane game. I has always loved cute things. I want that big spider plushie. <laughs> and she finds spiders extremely cute for some reason. It's... Spiders are cute um, from far away. <laughs> I'm fucking terrified of them in person, but when I look at pictures, they're cute. I try to reach for a coin in my pocket. Wait, let me do it. I want to get it on my own. She pulls out some coins and starts playing. Dot dot dot. The plushie has all her attention. Her first try barely touches the thing she wants. What were you even trying to get? Hush, let me concentrate here. She manages to grab it, but still no luck. Ah, uh, it fell! She inserts another coin and tries again. And again. And again. This crane is broken. <laughs> Fucking crane. Of course it's not. Here, let me get it for you. I'm not good at crane games myself. But I've got to show off somehow. Got it. Thank goodness. Wow, how did you do that? Easy. I prayed to all gods I know of. Of course I can't say that. It's all in the timing. It was a fluke, right? Sounds like it was a fluke. Of course not. I immediately stop when I see her holding out a coin. I'll just keep quiet before she asks me to do it again. I hand her the big plushie and she hugs it tight. There's some racing games over there. Wanna try it and not see us play it at all? I wish there was a picture of the spider. I wanna see a cute spider plush. Not very fond of those. I'll just watch you. Oh, racing games are fun though. Okay, I'll just play a couple of rounds. I'm not a big fan of racing games either. Why not? Racing games are fucking fun. I just like their setup in the arcade. They're almost completely enclosed and the seat tilts according to the game. That's why they're fun! <laughs> Feels real. Again, why they're fun. What's wrong with you? I stands behind me and watches as I play. As expected, I lost the first round horribly. Wow, Jung, are you even trying? <laughs> Fucking asshole. Bystanders don't get to talk. She plays with her plushie as I continue my game. Her plushie that we won't see because there's no art for it. Then again, I lost. Ah. Just as I thought, <laughs> this isn't really my thing. If only they have this kind of setup for a completely different game. I'm not good at racing games either, that doesn't make them not fun. I chuckles as if to mock me. I think you'd suck at whatever game it is. Is that why you can never win against me? Oh yeah? Why don't we settle this once and for all? She points at the fighting game arcades. I loved playing these when I was a kid, so prepare to get your butt kicked. I accept your challenge, Missy. Finally, a game I can play with her. I can't play fighting games for shit. As I, I've played a couple, so... You can look back on my channel. 
Watch me suck a killer instinct as I button mash my way through it. I was cleaning my glasses while I was talking. That's why there's just this pause. <laughs> it's not really a date if I'm the only one having fun, right? You guys are on a date? <laughs> you don't talk to each other like you are. Practice game. I don't know the buttons yet. I also have not played this in a long time. We sit across each other and her voice is all I can hear. Spend the first round trying to figure out what every button does. After trying some combinations, my character accidentally hit hers. No fair! Don't hit me yet! Hurry up, I can't wait anymore. Just one sec. How do I- Oh, never mind. Alright, I got it. Come at me anytime, bro. The battle begins and we got so into it that I forgot how many rounds we did. But we're more or less evenly matched. I win half the time and she wins the other half. This is fucking riveting stuff, by the way. <laughs> more importantly, I get to see a side of her I rarely see. <laughs> Fuck, why did I do that? Oh, now she, now she sounds like me. <laughs> Fuck, I'm such an idiot! Why did I press that button? <laughs> Strangely enough, it's a side of her I find the cutest. The button's not listening to me. <laughs> it's all the button's fault. I only see her like this when I play with her at home. Which only happened once or twice before. Ha! I won. Beat that. I'm just trying to keep my laughter in while listening to her. We play run round after another. Hey, no fair, I wasn't ready. The more she plays, the better she gets. I just realized I had like the volume on super low. There we go. Turn that up a little bit. See, I've beaten you three consecutive times already. Screw this. She laughs and stands up to stretch. Hey, Jung, let's go grab so let's go grab something to eat. She's just thinking the same. Now I'm standing in the same position here. We go to a small diner near the arcade. What are you getting? She looks at the menu for a bit. In order of beef udon and tempura. I guess I'll get the same. We find a table while waiting for our order. And the first thing she asks is, where's my food? Looks like playing games really tired eye out. <clears throat> I out. Patience is a virtue. Patience won't fill me up. <laughs> Complaining won't either. And then her order arrives. Oh look, it did. She chomps on her food like there's no tomorrow. It didn't take a while for her to finish it. Ah, that was good. Rejuvenated? Definitely. That took all my energy. Well, at least you had fun. Yeah, but we need to pick something less active now. How about the park? I'm cool with that. This is... Uh, is something gonna happen? Or is this just a guy on a date with a really annoying girl? Here's a good spot to sit. I'm surprised. It's a bit chilly despite the sun being directly on top of us. Yeah, nice weather indeed. <laughs> good weather for you to stand in the same position over and over again in different locations. It's so nice outside, and you still like to stay indoors the whole day. Outdoors is nice, but indoors is nicer. She giggles a bit. How have you been? Same old, same old. I bet you still only eat instant food, don't you? More or less. Come on, Yung. What nutrition can adding hot water give you? It's fine. You're learning how to cook for me anyway. Sure. I'll serve you my specialty dish. Burnt rice balls? Yes, every day. You'll kill me. We haven't seen each other in so long that I have a lot of things to share and ask. And I don't even know where to start. Are you still living in that torn down apartment? Yeah, but it's a bit better now that they've renovated a few things. Oh, well, the birds decided to be out. Oh, poor Sebastian's sleeping through it on the chair near me. He needs to wake up and be the and go attack the birds. <laughs> I think my greatest worry about that place is the people, though. Most of them are old people. They should move to a safer place, especially if they're living alone. One good thing about I is that she can be talkative. It saves me the trouble of trying to keep the conversation alive. I just ask a question and she'll manage to talk for hours about it and be incredibly boring and also really whiny. <laughs> How about work? How's it been? Total mess and probably will continue to be. 
Our boss gives us impossible tasks and most of us are pretty much fed up with it. Generic complaint about work. No specifics. A lot have quit already due to that and the rest are demotivated. Then there's Troy, my coworker, who would slack off until the last minute. That's an American name. <laughs> yeah, American, I guess. He's such a troublesome guy. He makes things harder for us. Sometimes he would even ask our other coworkers to do his part. I listened to her while noticing how much her expression changed since mentioning <laughs> that Troy guy. Has it changed? I guess she got the blush. There's this one time we got the pro processes all mixed up so bad because of him. Our boss was furious that time. Then Troy... She paused mid-sentence and stared at me. What? Oh, I see. What is it? You're jealous, aren't you? It's written all over your face. What are you talking about? Anyway, so what did this Troy guy do? See? The tone of your voice gives it away. Leave me alone already. Come on, admit it. I stare at her and wait for her to finish laughing. What happened to the job offer you got from the other company? Oh, that. I turned it down. That non-specific job. I need to be relocated for that job. I don't really want a new settlement and lifestyle for just a little bit of increase in income. It's not worth it. That's fine. I bet you'll get another job offer soon. In, you know, whatever field it is that you work in. <laughs> Maybe even closer here, who knows? Aw, you miss me that much already? She really enjoys making me admit embarrassing things. Yes, so I could try your burnt rice balls already. We continue talking and laughing about random things and totally lost track of time. She suddenly stops talking. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> she stands up and walks toward the lady giving away some kind of flyers. Uh, who is apparently here, I guess. She grabs one and waves it at me as she was walking back. They're having a firework display later. We should see it. Yeah, I know about that. They do that here every year. Let's go then, before it gets crowded there. Don't worry, I know a good spot to watch the fireworks. It's less crowded, too. It takes a bit of walking to get there, plus to go up the hill. The sun just set when we arrived, so it was starting to get dark. Good, it's just us here. <laughs> like, oh, it's gonna get crowded! Hey, there's no one here. Oh, you're right, this is a good view. Right? We sit on the bench and wait for the show. Not long after, dots of light shoot toward the sky. You just have to imagine it, behind eyes, standing in the same position again. Slowly fade and bloom like flowers of different colors. The cheers of the crowd at the foot of the mountain can be heard. Ice faces filled with happiness just watching the fireworks. I wish this could last forever. But I'm running out of time. She looks at me with a sad look. Holy shit, her expression changed. It's time, isn't it? Almost. Don't worry, it won't be long. It's fine. You really shouldn't bother hanging out with me. Don't say that. After all, I'm just... Okay. Have you heard of the Turing test? Okay. Yeah. Alright. It's an evaluation of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligence. Whether it can act or speak like a human. But however good a machine becomes, however indistinguishable it is from humans, it will never be an actual human being. <laughs> it kind of looks like her legs are the stand on the monitor. Just like I. No matter how good her program is. And no matter how much I deny it myself, she will never be real. We aren't in the same dimension of reality. She'll continue to dwell inside the artificial world that I created. Ah, the program crashed again. As expected, it couldn't go on any longer than that. Hi, Zoe. Zoe woke up, Sebastian. I really need to come up with a stable fix soon. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Achievement unlocked, what are you doing with your life? All right, cool. Okay, so I was suddenly, um, <laughs> suddenly interrupted right at the end. So that'll be the end of this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.